Hello everyone, welcome back to our chemistry class. So we are still in chapter 4, chemical bonding. So this is the part E for 4.1 Lewis structure. And in this video, we will be talking about the formal charge and the most plausible Lewis structure. So what is formal charge? So formal charge is the charge that an atom could have if the bonding electrons were shared equally. So, rumus untuk formal charge adalah number of valence electron minus the lone pair electron and minus the number of bond. So, the formal charge is used to determine the most stable or the most plausible Lewis structure. So, plausible di sini maksudnya uh, adalah reasonable. Okay, reasonable ataupun yang paling mungkin probable. Okay, so itu kita akan guna perkataan most plausible Lewis structure. So how can we determine the Lewis structure is the most plausible or not? So the first thing that we need to see, okay, from the calculation of the formal charge, the atoms in the molecule bear the smallest number of formal charge. Okay, lepas tu kalau kita sudah kira itu formal charge itu negative formal charge appears on the most electronegative atoms ataupun kalau kita kira formal charge dan kita ada positive formal charge positive formal charge itu pula appears on the least electronegative atoms and lastly the sum of the formal charge on the atoms must equal zero for a neutral molecule or must equal to the ionic charge of the at polyatomic ion So mari kita tengok example 1 So dalam previous video saya ada tunjukkan kamu Dua uh, Lewis structure Structure untuk carbon dioxide So dalam video ini kita akan bincangkan Macam mana kita tentukan Lewis structure mana yang lebih plausible Which Lewis structure is the most plausible So here we have two structure of carbon dioxide Structure A and also structure B Okay, so let's take a look at structure A first. So as we can see, in the structure A, we have two atom oxygen. So kita kasih label atom oxygen itu sebagai A dan B. So mari kita kira formal charge bagi setiap atom di dalam structure A. So untuk oxygen berlabel A, Number of valence electron is 6 minus dengan number of lone pair. Kita ada 4 lone pair di sana. And then kita minus number of bond dan dia ada 2 bond di situ. So formal charge untuk oksigen yang berlabel A adalah kosong. Next untuk oksigen berlabel B pun sama. 6 valence electron minus 4 lone pair minus 2 number of bond. So, the formal charge for oxygen label B is also zero. And then, let's calculate the formal charge for carbon. So, carbon, dia punya number of valence electron is 4. No lone pair, zero. And then, the number of bond is 4. Therefore, the formal charge for carbon is zero. Finally, we calculate the total formal charge. Kita kasih tambah semua formal charge atom itu. Dan kita akan dapat total formal charge adalah sebagai zero. So total formal charge adalah zero sebab carbon dioxide is a neutral atom, maka formal charge dia mestilah sama dengan zero. Next kita sambung untuk kira formal charge bagi structure B. So kita akan ulang benda yang sama. Sebab dia ada dua atom oksigen, satu kita labelkan dengan A dan satu lagi kita labelkan dengan B. So, formal charge untuk oksigen berlabel A, 6 tolak dengan 6 tolak dengan 1, dia akan dapat negatif 1. Oksigen berlabel B, 6 kita tolak dengan 2, kita tolak dengan 3, kita akan dapat positif 1. And then for carbon, okay, 4 tolak dengan kosong tiada valent lone pair lepas tu tolak dengan 4 kita akan dapat kosong so the total formal charge kita kena kasih tambah semua nilai formal charge yang kita kira tadi so kita akan dapat total formal charge adalah sebanyak kosong 
So when we compare the calculation of formal charge for structure A and also structure B, we can see that structure A, uh, the atoms in structure A bear the smallest formal charge which is zero. So meaning to say the structure A is the most plausible structure for carbon dioxide. So we have to explain, okay? So we write it like this, structure A is the most plausible Lewis structure for carbon dioxide because all atoms bear the lowest formal charge. Next for example 2. Okay, cuba kunun kamu buat sendiri dulu. Pilih sila postkan video ini dan saya akan kongsikan jawapannya sebentar lagi. So, ini adalah langkah kerja pengiraan formal charge bagi setiap atom di dalam struktur A. So, ini pula langkah kerja pengiraan formal charge bagi setiap atom di dalam struktur P. Then, bila kita bandingkan when we compare the formal charge between the structure A and also structure B, we can see that the structure B bear the lowest formal charge. Okay, the lowest formal charge in all its atom. So meaning to say, structure B is the most plausible structure for POCl3. Next, for example, T3, you were asked to determine the formal charge for each atom in SO4 2 minus. Okay, and we can see there is a charge for that ion which is negative 2. And you, are, you were asked to explain which Lewis structure is the most plausible. Okay, so kita kira formal charge untuk structure A dahulu. Sebab dia ada 4 atom oksigen di sana, kita kasih label dengan A, B, C, D. So, kita teruskan dengan mengira formal charge bagi setiap atom di dalam struktur A. And then, when we calculate the total formal charge, okay, the total formal charge will be equal to negative 2, which is the same to the charge of the polyatomic ions. Next, for structure B, okay, kita kira juga formal charge bagi setiap atom di dalam structure B. So, bila kita labelkan, okay, kita labelkan 4 atom oksigen di situ sebagai A, B, C, dan D. And then, sudah selesai kiraan formal charge. Mari kita calculate the total formal charge. So, kita kasih tambah semuanya dan kita akan dapat negatif 2, which is the same to the charge of the polyatomic ion. So now let's compare the formal charge between structure A and also structure B. So as you can see there, structure B will be the most plausible Lewis structure for SO4 2 minus because, okay, because all atoms bear the lowest formal charge. Kalau kamu mau tengok senang, structure B tu dia banyak formal charge yang bernilai kosong, which is the lowest formal charge. So, let's continue to example 4. So, example 4, you were asked to draw all the possible Lewis structure and determine the most plausible Lewis structure for SO3. So, untuk jawab soalan macam begini, maksudnya kamu kena draw Lewis structure, kamu kena kira formal charge, and then kamu kena determine yang mana satu adalah 
plausible Lewis structure. So to draw the Lewis structure, you need to calculate the total valence electron first for SO3. So the total valence electron for SO3 is 24. And then after that, we draw the skeletal structure for SO3. S will be the central atom and O will be the terminal atom. So we are using 6 electron there. So we are, have 18 electron remaining. So kita letaklah 6 electron pada setiap terminal atom. Dan kita gunakan ke semua 18 electron tersebut. Okay, and then after that, apa yang kamu kena buat, kita kena cek itu S, itu sulfur, dia oktet ke tidak. So, bila kita cek itu S, dia cuma ada 6 elektron. So, meaning to say, apa yang kita buat, kita akan pindahkan, okay, lone pair daripada terminal atom, supaya dia bentuk bond yang baru, jadi S itu dia akan capai oktet, iaitu dia akan mempunyai 8 elektron. So, ini adalah structure yang pertama, structure A untuk SO3. So, we also know that from the previous video, sulfur is located in period 3. So, meaning to say, sulfur can hold more than 8 electron sebab dia, ada, dia adalah expanded octet. Meaning to say, sulfur can hold maximum of 12 electrons. So, kita akan pindahkan lone pair daripada setiap atom oksigen. Jadi, sulfur ini dia akan ada 3 pasang double bond. So, this second Lewis structure will be the structure B. Okay, now we have two possible structure for SO3. So, mari kita kira formal charge bagi setiap structure ini terlebih dahulu. So, ini adalah calculation untuk formal charge bagi structure A. So, ini pula adalah kiraan formal charge bagi structure B. So when we compare the calculation of formal charge between structure A and also structure B, so we can see that all the atoms in structure B bear the lowest formal charge. So meaning to say, structure B is the most plausible Lewis structure for SO3 because all atoms bear the lowest formal charge. Next, for example 5, you are asked to draw all the possible Lewis structure and determine the most plausible structure for OCN minus. So, to do this, the first thing that we must do is to draw the Lewis structure. To draw the Lewis structure, we need to calculate the total valence electron. So, when we calculate the total valence in electron including the negative charge there, the total valence electron is equals to 16 electron. Okay, so for this structure, OCN minus, C will become the central atom because the electronegativity of carbon is the lowest. So, when we draw the skeletal structure for OCN, we can minus 4 electron from the total valence electron, leaving us with 12 electron. So, these 12 electrons will be put at the terminal atom and we already use up all our valence electrons. Uh, please write the bracket and also the charge for these ions. Yeah? And when we are looking at the central atom, carbon, we can see that carbon is not yet octet. So what we can do is, we will move the lone pair so that it will make a new bond okay, to make sure that carbon is octet. So this is the structure that we get when we move the electron, the lone pair, to form a new bond. So this is what we call as structure A. 
next Lewis structure for OCN minus is when we move two pairs of lone pair from the oxygen atom. Okay, so we can get the structure B for OCN minus. Next, we can also move the lone pairs from the nitrogen atom. So this will give us the structure C for OCN minus. So we have three possible Lewis structure for OCN minus. So let's calculate one by one the formal charge for each structure. So this is the calculation of formal charge for structure A. This show the calculation of formal charge for structure B. And this shows the calculation of formal charge for structure C. So when we compare the calculation of formal charge for structure A, B, and C, we can see that we can omit the, the structure B as the most plausible Lewis structure because it has the value of negative 2 there. So when we look at the formal charge of structure A and also structure C, we can see that the nitrogen in structure A bear negative sign and the oxygen in structure C bear the negative sign. Remember that the, ne the most plausible Lewis structure is one which the negative formal charge appears on the most electronegative atoms. So in this case, the most electronegative atoms is oxygen. Okay. Therefore, therefore, structure C will be the most plausible Lewis structure for OCN minus because the negative sign is located in the oxygen atom. So this is how we write the explanation why we choose structure C as the most plausible Lewis structure for OCN minus. Okay, that's all for this video guys. I hope you really understand how to calculate the formal charge and how you determine the most plausible Lewis structure. So I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.